I truly love what I do. I love uh, working with the people that I work with. Um, I love creating things. I love coming up with, you know, innovative thoughts and ideas, um, and that speak to a vision that we've laid out. Uh, and I don't, I don't think that entrepreneurs necessarily are very normal people. We don't think, you know, you've got to have a crazy state of mind to want to take on the kind of risk that you have to take on to be an entrepreneur. And um, you know, you have to have that passion, therefore, to take on that, that level of risk. And that's, I think that has been my measure or that has been a massive contributor to getting up, even when I failed so many times, to still get up again and to do the same thing over again. A great challenge for me was that adversity in being able to navigate um, challenges that you don't expect to come across your way, but you've got to make decisions quickly uh, and decisions that are based on a value system or a, a set of rules and an integrity that you carry. And they've gone from being approached by, by older men who believe that the currency of the conversation is about what you look like, uh, what they believe they can offer you on the basis of what you look like, and what they believe you want from them if they're able to get into that conversation successfully, to you know, not being able to obtain business because you either don't engage in that or you just fail many times. I've never gotten into this because I believe it's something sexy or glamorous to do. It's very hard. Um, and those challenges are necessary to actually, you know, make you realize what you're doing and, and to make it that much more important to protect it and to grow this. I would say to a 20-year-old Ipileng, um, don't be afraid. Fear is, is, is a huge crippler um, of people's ideas and thoughts and, and their own vision of self. Um, I think I've done okay in that area and, and I think I've done okay only because I was young, Ati. You know, I was in my 20s, I'd just come out of university, I had no dog, cat, husband, child, nothing. And so I, there was a little bit of naivety and, and fear, and that combination really propelled me. But I would say to a younger Ipileng, truly don't have fear. I possibly would say to a younger Ipileng as well, you know, try something out because you don't know what could come out of it. And, and, and I think when I started, it, it was a lot of trial and error. Um, and I would say to a younger Ipileng, do that more, definitely. The levels of femicide and brutality against women and the violence uh, mitigated against women has been significantly shocking. Um, it's not that we're not a country that hasn't been exposed to this for many years. We are uh, a violent nation, uh, generally. I think our government has always spoken out against violence. I think our government has always spoken about the need to protect women the need to celebrate women and the need to uplift women. I think that what we as a society, included in that our government, just hasn't realized is how deeply wounded we are as a people and how violence begets violence and it's a form of communication and it's a form of um, protest uh, by many of our people. And that in itself is overwhelming. We need to start understanding what the new sectors globally are, you know, um, and engaging our young people uh, um, in that and engaging them in the concept around doing it for themselves um, so that they are able to create businesses that employ people, that put food on people's tables, where people can go out there and, and work and learn and grow. Um, I think that that is our single, one of our biggest challenges right now, and we are going through a major slump. Um, yes, we, we certainly are an emerging market, but that doesn't suggest that we should be growing at the levels of the GDP, the very, very, very low levels that we're growing at. And, and that suggests to me that there, there are more, there are bigger problems around that, you know, that macro and micro um, economy. And that, that would be my, my thing. That's what I know. <laughs> so I don't think I would, you know, other than that, there are many other challenges. But as president, I would want to get this economy going through entrepreneurship.